are back with the legendary and Haley. competing <laughs> talent. You know, sometimes that <laughs> seems to be what you need to do. I, I don't know. No judgments yeah, here. No, no judgment. No, no judgment. <laughs> J. Anthony Brown. Oh, you know, just... you're really a musical uh, prodigy, in my opinion. I've, matter of fact, what shocked me in going over some of your uh, movies that you were in, I remember seeing Drumline. And I've only had one movie that really stood out that people know me from. You ever know sometimes, like, say, just for instance, say you would bake a pie. Okay. And then you take a slice of the pie. You know, that is a damn good pie. <laughs> you know, and it's the same way when I watch. Mm -hmm. my, and I do not like watching myself with other people. I can watch by myself. But if I watch it, I'm like, man, I was pretty good in that movie. And I was so nervous because they, they, I was I so, couldn't tell. Oh, my God. I couldn't the, tell. I'll tell you why I was really nervous. Yeah. The scene where Orlando Jones and I first meet up and we're fussing over Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. And Orlando Jones is supposed to be mad. He stayed in the character. And at the end, I stuck that line in about, oh, you still got that baton stuck up your ass, right? <laughs> and that was just a line I threw in there. Right. And the director like, man, that's great. That's great. <laughs> and then at the end, I said to is he is he mad at me? <laughs> he said, no, nah, he's just acting. But but Drumline is a movie that holds up, you know. Right. It, but see, I know personally that you are a drummer. That's so. So no, no. How long have you played? Have, how long have you I played playing? the drums when I was in high school, and I played the bass drum, which I played with my cousin Fripp. It was just like... You have a cousin named Fripp? Fripp, that's his name. Okay. Melvin Fripp, and he was a drummer. <laughs> and I, I, when we played together, man, it was just... I, I, What's I, up, Fripp? How, how, how are you? Doing, you? Fripp? I was in awe of him. I was in awe of my cousin. Well, are there any other instruments that you play? I played... Oh, yeah, I played... I brought it, so... <clears throat> let's see. What? 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 Now, I don't really play the harmonica. Here's the thing about the harmonica. And anybody who wants to play the harmonica, I can tell you this. You can take the harmonica and you can do this. People go, oh, no, he can play. And that's all I can do right there. He has on his voicemail, he has himself playing the right. I don't feel like talking to nobody today. So call me back. Later on, and then, oh, man, that is great. I need to change it because it's been there for a while. Well, you know, <laughs> because of your love of music, it has opened countless doors for you to be able to be around musicians. That's, that's the beauty and... of this job. I mean, I'll be 60 my next birthday. Oh, I can you don't remember. look a day over. I'm 59, 50. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the beauty of this job, here I am. Mm -hmm. I'll be 60 my next birthday. I remember sitting at home listening to the Gap Band, the mm -hmm. OJ, mm -hmm. the Time, the Confunction, Maze. To have a job where you meet these people, mm -hmm. where you, I mean, I'm, I'm joking with Frankie Beverly. I'm opening for Frankie Beverly next week. Mm -hmm. I know Charlie Wilson mm -hmm. in terms of not just knowing him, like if he sees me, that Jay, what you doing in the airport? Charlie Wilson came to my club before yeah. he passed. Right, it's, it's it's a blessing. It right. truly is a blessing. I, I've seen some footage of yeah. him uh, at your club. Yeah. Matter of fact, talk about the J spot, the hottest uh, it's not comedy. The hottest, but it's gonna be. It is it's, it's, cosmetically it's, hot. It's, <laughs> the comedians are hot. The comedians and, are hot. And every and, Wednesday you can find Wednesday, my man. man. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday night is the night I took. You know what I'm most interested in about the club? You just started a brand new day. I believe it's Sunday. Yes. And it's called Sweet Tea Sweet Night. Sweet Tea. What's the tea? <laughs> <laughs> What's the tea? I love the commercial. These are these are all male guys and they're 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 gay and they're lesbians that come to my club. And I remember being offered the idea it was approached to me like, what would you think about it? I'm like, how many gonna show up? And they said, Well, we might get seventy five. I'm like, when are they gonna be here? <laughs> and they said, We'll be here Sunday. I'm saying, Yes. And I never for a minute doubted about having sweet tea night at the club. But I did get, you know, a lot of comments going, oh, they're going to start calling your spot the gay spot. I'm like, who cares? And it was coming mm -hmm. from comedians that when they had a night, they couldn't pull six people. So. Wow. And it's 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 what comedy is. It's mm -hmm. what radio is. It's, you know. It's what entertainment is. It's what is. entertainment it's is. It's for if everyone. You, if you're going to mm -hmm. say, well, 
if any entertainer would sit down and take out a segment of people, he would be stupid. Mm -hmm. He would be stupid. He would lose his credibility in, in business. I mean, imagine some entertainer saying, well, I don't want gay people listening to my music. Right. That would be like suicide. Yes. So to say something Yes, like we're that, here. And there yeah. are in, in great numbers. <laughs> Yo, hey. Now, they done on Sunday <laughs> night. I'm a big fan of the RuPaul show. And I met this guy on camera because I don't know him. Shangela, he was one of the contestants there. Uh -huh. But he did a stand-up routine, so... And he was very funny, so I guess he's starting to branch out uh -huh. in the comedy. So it's on Sunday. Listen out for it. It's called Sweet Tea. And it's at the gay spot, which is... <laughs> Through the week, it's called the J spot. So, <laughs> but those Sundays is the gay spot. <laughs> but they were so oh. you know I didn't know how oh. appreciative they would be, mm -hmm. and I got all these um, video texts that is, we thank you, Jay, because we were yes. looking for a place to party, man. Right. Thank you, thank you. Just, right, and I, we had discussed that yeah. how how I remember coming right. to you and like, what do you think? You yeah. like. Like they are going to come out. And <laughs> Reality of it is, is that you know we we always support everyone's projects, but when someone supports us back, you you've got a fan for life. You've got someone who is uh, an ally with you, who respects you just as much as you respect them. Well, you know, and you hear people say stuff like, "Some of my best friends are gay, and some of my best friends are gay." They know? really are. They really are. Hello. You know? <laughs> But I remember this one gay story who I, I made a friend. I was working on a BET's Comic View, and I had a, a gay makeup artist. His uh -huh. name is Tracy. Okay. And if you've ever seen Tracy, people who know Tracy, he lives in L.A., and he's a seven-foot blonde dude. He's beautiful. He's, he's gorgeous. He, hey, sh hey, Tracy, yeah, shout out. Tracy is a, I'm a, I love Tracy to death. Uh -huh. But how I met Tracy was... He was doing my makeup because we were shooting for seven days. We shot the show for seven days. Mm -hmm. And the first two days, Tracy did my makeup. And you know, when you, somebody does your makeup, you go, oh, you, you, you kind of build a rapport and mm -hmm. you happen. But then the next, like the third day I go, Tracy ain't there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, because you can't miss him. I mean, if he's mm -hmm. not around, I'm like, where's the seven foot dude? And uh, <laughs> so I get the word that I see Tracy and he's avoiding me. I'm like, well, what, what, what's up with you? What? He said, uh, you know, he's got a, the softest voice, you know, mm -hmm. but he can do both. I've seen, I've seen both voices. Uh -huh. Oh, I will whip your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen, well, they told me you didn't want me to do my, your makeup in my life. Who, who told you that? Wow. And it was the guy who was doing security with me. Mm -hmm. He didn't want him around. So yeah. he told him that I didn't want him around. And I'm like, that's far from the truth. Let me go get you back on my makeup. Mm -hmm. And we became friends ever since. And that's that's what friends do. And that's the kind of guy Jay is, <laughs> period. I mean, he just, he really does not discriminate. He he loves all, he loves all entertainment, all art, and people. I mean, and, and uh, it's really a testament to your character and all that. Well, thank you. All yeah. that. I wanted to tell you that there's something that you told me that has always stuck with me. First of all, thank you so much for pushing me to do this show. <laughs> we have had countless conversations oh, about oh, this. Let me tell you about you, because <laughs> it, once you once you get uh, Kia to really trust you oh, and no. open up, you got a friend for life. But it starts <laughs> off like, what what is he up to? He's 